containing the series of weekly contest to 92 here comes the second question in queue count nodes equal to average of subtree even before jumping onto the details let me just introduce myself my name is Sanchit Rudeja I'm working as software developer for at Adobe and today I present all the solutions for the weekly contest 292 uh, in this question we are given a binary tree and we need to identify the number of nodes where the value of the node happens to be equal to the average of all the values that appear in its subtree here they have provided us with an example I'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it why the presentation so let's quickly hop on to it lead code double to six five it's a medium level question on lead code and I totally feel the same count nodes equal to the average of subtree also if you have any question for me or any difficulty understanding this question please feel free to join the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded I'll be more than happy to all to answer all your queries out now so let's take the same example that was specified in the question at each node what we are interested in we are interested in finding out the average of the total values that exist in that subtree divided by the total number of nodes that we have in this subtree so the total values in subtree and total nodes in that subtree so this will give us the average and once we are able to identify this value we can simply compare it with the current node value if that is equal then mean that means we have found out one such instance and we need to identify total such instances where this condition is met so total nodes in subtree and how are we going to do this this is a primary question so for this we will be using the post order traversal we will first go in the left subtree then we will go in the right subtree followed by the node itself so left right info and let's get started at each traversal we will be returning two things the first one would be the total value that exists in that subtree so total value comma total nodes total value comma total nodes so what I'm trying to say, let's walk through the example and you will understand it. So let's start from here. So what we're going to do, we'll move towards the left direction. We'll go here over here. We'll go towards the left direction. We'll go over here. And here we see that the left child is null as a result of which we will return the total sum is zero, total nodes is zero. Again, the right child is null, total nodes is zero, total sum is zero. So both of them are zero and the control goes back to this particular position. Uh, what is the total uh, value returned from the left child? It is zero from the right child. It is zero. So add these two up. We get zero. We will also add the current node value, which is zero. So zero plus zero plus zero gives you zero. So the total sum over here remains zero and the total nodes up till this particular node happens to be zero plus zero plus one. So this represents a total nodes this represents a total sum so 0 by 1 gives you 0 as a result of which you have found one such instance so let's proceed ahead this is what we are going to return to its parent now uh, we have iterated over the left child we'll move towards the right child of 8 right of right child of 8 is this one and uh, again a similar thing will follow these will return 0 0 this will be also 0 0 and the total over here would be 0 plus 0 plus 1 gives you 1 and the total number of nodes 0 plus 0 plus 1 gives you 1 so 1 by 1 is 1 as a result of which the total count gets updated to 2 so 1 comma 1 gets returned to the parent and let's see what is the total sum over here the total sum is 0 plus 1 plus 8 which is 9 comma 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 3 so 9 by 3 is 3 3 is not equal to 8 as a result of which the condition is not met let's proceed ahead so 9 comma 3 will be returned from this to the parent which is 4 we have traversed over all its left subtree we have to do it in the right subtree part so let's go ahead here and uh, since it has no left child so this would be 0 comma 0 and the right child would be so let's walk through the right child of 5 first which is this one here you will see the total sum is 6 the number of nodes happens to be 1 as a result of which 6 by 1 gives you 6 the condition is met and the total count gets updated to 3 also 6 comma 1 gets returned to the parent which is 5 
so from the left child we have zero from the right child we have six and from the current node we have five so five plus six plus zero gives you eleven eleven by one plus two one plus one gives you two so there is no left child therefore we are not counting for it so eleven by two gives you five as a result of which it is equal to the node's value the count gets updated to four so 11 comma 2 gets returned from its right child right child of 4 so uh, what what are the two values that we have got one from the left and one from the right it is 9 comma 3 11 comma 2 so let's find the total sum the total sum is 9 plus 4 is 13 13 plus 11 gives you a 24 24 by 5 gives you 4 as a result of which the nodes value turns out to be equal to the average value therefore the count gets updated to 5 and we are done with the traversal we'll exactly follow the same steps as i've just talked here and let's quickly code it up the time complexity of this approach is order of n and the space complexity is equal to the height of the binary tree that is given to us here i've created a count variable that will actually store the answer i go ahead and check if my root happens to be null if it is null then i return the root otherwise i go and process all my nodes that are present in my root and once the, that processing is done in post order fashion i simply return the count value so what do i do i check if my root happens to be null that's a corner case i simply return an array that will store two values the first one is total sum comma total number of nodes so i do the same thing in the left part so i do the same thing in the left part i do the same thing in the right part and uh, once i have those values from the left subtree and the right subtree I calculate the total sum. Total sum would be equal to left dot zero, right dot zero plus root dot val. Total node would be equal to left dot one, right dot one plus one. I go ahead and calculate the average total by total sum by total nodes. If it is equal to the root, I increment my count variable. Once I'm done with this, I simply return uh, a new array where total sum and total number of nodes are returned back to the caller method. So let's try this up. Accepted. With this, we are done with the solution for this particular problem the time complexity as i just told is order of n because we are traversing through the node only once and the space complexity is equal to log n where log n signifies the height of the binary tree that is given to us i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates on coding decoded i'll see you in some time with the rest of these questions